Weaver. We are Chappy, as himself. Today, Bitten. No, that bit's still too complicated. Hello, hi, hi. Um, I'm Arthur Shappy. Uh, I'm the guy, uh, the self-isolating guy from the other video I did uh, that also had me in. That's me. Hello. Um, so look, listen, guys. Um, look and listen. I just wanted to say thank you so much for all the amazing comments you left on the last one. I really enjoyed reading them all. It um, almost made up for still not being able to find white thing. Uh, and there were so many of them. I had no idea that the crazy golf community was so big. I mean, I knew it should be. I just didn't know it also was. So, uh, yeah, thanks for that. Um, well, things are going well here. I'm getting settled in to the, uh, to the granny flat. I've been doing lots of walking around the flat and I've been practicing the piano. And, oh, uh, that reminds me, some, some people said in the comments that I should get the piano tuned. Um, well, look, don't feel bad about this because it's an easy mistake to make, but actually, the piano is fine. Now, what you probably couldn't realise is that I'm really bad at playing it. So uh, that's why it sounds a bit rubbish. The piano is brilliant. I mean, listen to this, listen. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, that sounded like about nine notes and I only played three. So what else? Um, oh, well, okay. The main news, I saw a mouse. <laughs> Uh, yeah, actually in the flat. I saw it twice, actually. Um, the first time it was kind of um, scuttling along by the wall, and then the second time it was also scuttling along by the wall. I think that's its favourite thing. Um, so uh, I was very excited, obviously, and I called Mum, and Mum and I had a bit of a chat on the phone about what to do with the mouse, and it turns out we've got quite different ideas. Um, so my ideas were uh, we should catch the mouse and train it to do tricks and start a mouse circus. Uh, or we could build a tiny little carriage the right size for the mouse to pull and then train the mouse to pull the carriage. Or we could train the mouse to be my mouse butler. Or, or we could just not train the mouse at all and just have it as like a mouse friend for me to hang out with. And then um, Mum's idea... Yeah, I might not tell you Mum's idea. Um, you know, these are really stressful times and she's under a lot of pressure and I'm sure she didn't mean it. Um, so we carried on talking and we compromised and um, we're not going to do any of my ideas, but we are also definitely not going to do her idea. Okay, so we're going to we're going to, we're going to leave the mouse alone. We're going to ignore it. We're not going to feed it. We're not going to encourage it, but we are also not going to hurt it or scare it in any way. Oh, and the other thing is, and I agree with this, I'm not going to name the mouse, okay? Because if I name the mouse, then I'll get attached to the mouse. And the mouse is not a pet, the mouse is a wild animal. So, I am not going to name the mouse. So you guys can name the mouse. What should we call it? Yeah, because that's fine, isn't it? If you guys do it, because it doesn't matter if you guys get attached to the mouse, you're not even here. That's the whole point. Uh... So uh, leave me uh, any suggestions you've got for the mouse's name in the comments and uh, I'll decide what you should call the mouse. Uh, and I won't call it anything because I promised. Oh, uh, talking of comments, um, come with me, guys. You've got to, haven't you? Because I say where we go. Oh, this is brilliant because I don't normally get to be the one who says where we go. OK, well, I say we go up the stairs and into the bedroom uh, because yeah i was saying thank you so much for all the amazing suggestions you had for self-isolation movies they were really great even douglas liked them and he never likes any of mine uh so let me just put you up here a moment turn the light on okay you balanced yep um so lots of people had home alone three brilliant guys well done i actually had home alone four but i didn't think of three um Quite a lot of people had Far From The Madding Crowd, that's great. And also uh, One Angry Man. Uh, and then of the others, well, everybody picked their favourite. Um, so Martin liked No Encounters of Any Kind Until Further Notice by Brianna. Uh, Teresa went for Don't Catch It If You Can by David. I liked one that two people came up with. Uh, Rue Boss and Man of Kent, I think separately, came up with Ocean's One. And the sequel, Oceans 1. And the sequel, Oceans 1. 
Oh, and then that new one they did recently, um, Ocean's One. And then Herc's favourite was Spider-Man, Near to Home by Patrick. And Wendy went with Avengers Don't Assemble by Charlie Louise. But Douglas said he thought the best one was by Prudence and it was Brother, Stay Where Thou Art. Uh, so well done, oh, those were all brilliant. Don't send any more in though because I want you all to concentrate on thinking of what I should call my mouse. No, what you should call your mouse. No, what we should call the mouse his own mouse. Uh, he's his own mouse, guys, okay? It's nothing to do with us. Or her own mouse, I don't know how to tell. I looked it up in the internet, but they don't know how to tell either. They did have one suggestion, but it was quite rude. I think you'd have to know the mouse very well. Um, so yeah, oh, I should probably tell you a bit about the mouse so you know what name will suit it. Uh, it's a small mouse. It's a brown mouse. It's a brilliant mouse. It's, uh, I'd say brown, it's kind of brownish grey. Well, it depends when you see it, actually. The first time I saw it, it was definitely brown. But the second time I saw it, it was quite grey. And also much bigger. Okay, bye!